Residents in Tuscumbia, Missouri, are using a new bridge that replaced a really old one. State officials said it was in bad need of replacing. Now, the new bridge cost millions of dollars. Much of it came from last year's stimulus package passed by Congress. Some there say it's bloated government spending, but the locals do like the bridge, as reporter David Weinberg explains. It took me about three hours to drive from St. Louis west to Tuscumbia. It's a small town along the Osage River. When I arrived, there were hundreds of people gathered on the new bridge as the local high school marching band played the national anthem. Then came speeches from politicians, followed by a giant pair of scissors cutting a blue ribbon. The new bridge costs nearly $9 million to build, and it's the only way the town's 200 residents can cross the Osage without driving miles out of their way. Most people here make their living raising turkeys, hogs, and cattle. After the ribbon cutting, a parade of tractors led the way to a party in a nearby park. That's where I spoke with resident Joe Pryor. So do you think that most people in town support the federal stimulus? We do for here. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to get the politics of it. I don't know if it helped the economy, but there are certainly worthy projects. I also spoke with Leisha Thompson, a school librarian who also happens to be the mayor of Tuscumbia. Do you think that the, that the bridge had a, an economic impact on the town? Absolutely. The only real business that we have here in the town is the, the convenience store. So, I mean, all the construction workers were eating lunch there every day. They were purchasing their gas there. So, I mean, of course it had an economic impact on us. In the 2008 presidential election, Nearly 70% of residents in Tuscumbia and the surrounding county voted Republican. When work began on the bridge in 2009, many Republicans outside the region blasted the project as an example of wasteful spending. Politics in theory is quite a bit different from politics in practice. David Kimball is a professor of political science at the University of Missouri-St. Louis. In theory, Republicans are against the stimulus, against much of President Obama's uh, initiatives, but... um, when they see government spending in their backyard, <laughs> they like it. There are over 13,000 stimulus-funded transportation projects currently under construction around the country. This is David Weinberg for Marketplace.